This video shows JSO officers forcing their way into a woman's west side home. This is Action News Jax at 10. I'm John Bachman. I'm Tanika Hughes. It happened a week ago today, and we're now seeing the incident report detailing JSO's account of what happened. Action News Jax and Ed Gutierrez is live in front of JSO headquarters. Annette, do we know why the officers forced their way into that home? Well, according to the JSO incident report, officers say they were looking for a suspect that matched the description of Christy Jackson, a black female with red hair. Turns out it was a case of mistaken identity. What's going on? What's going on? All we're trying to do is get out. What's going on? Last Wednesday night, JSO officers responded to a call of a person being shot at a home on Moncrief Road. After speaking to witnesses, officers were led to believe it could be Christy Jackson. The incident report states she was being detained, believing she was the suspect. Mama, calm down! Mama. In circumstances like this, we expect law enforcement to behave in a way that is not only transparent, but appropriate and respectful. I didn't see that in the video. Action News Jack's law and safety expert, Dale Carson, says the circumstances for these officers to enter the home are questionable. He adds the only reason for an officer to enter a home is if it's related to an active, fresh pursuit. When you're in the field, something has just happened, you're trying to protect the community. You're going to have to engage in some activity. But Carson says in this incident, that was not the case. The report states they were looking for a suspect and never indicated a fresh pursuit. Officer, can you please tell me what's going on? I need her ID. That's okay. all I need. There were questions asked. There were questions answered. That should resolve it. If you Carson says, if you still think the person is a suspect after questioning, you have to follow proper protocol. It's incumbent upon you to secure the property, which you can do, all right, and go get a search warrant or a arrest warrant or a combination of both. And go back and do your duty. I went to Jackson's home to find no one at home. I did speak to her over the phone, but she did not want to be recorded, saying the whole incident has been traumatizing. They forced their way into her home. That's her home, the most protected place in the United States for Americans is their home. And coming up at 11, hear why Carson believes cases like this could be detrimental to solving crime in our community. For local coverage, you can count on live in front of JSO headquarters, Annette Gutierrez, Action News Jax.